I was exploring the global revival of stuffed dead animals and taxidermy. And I'd found myself in the deep south of America. I was meeting Daniel Ross and his family in Arkansas. This is my youngest son, Christian. Christian's 12. Mason is our middle boy. He's uh, 14. It's normal around here for kids to have guns? Absolutely. I mean, you would be a weird kid if you didn't have a gun. I mean, do you have any friends who don't have guns? No. They don't have guns, uh, not my friend. <laughs> Hunting is a way of life out here. Everybody hunts. There's a need for taxidermists. Daniel's family-run business was home to a new concept revolutionizing taxidermy. Having started years earlier making animal trophies for hunters, it was pets that had now become Daniel's speciality. Well, these machines are freeze drying machines and we're just pulling all the moisture out of these animals. I mean, you can see, you can see how big she is, but she just doesn't weigh much at all. I mean, this is what you can expect coming right out of the machine. It's a way of preserving them forever. You're gonna keep all their facial characteristics and everything because you're not skinning them out. They have their bones and meat and tissues still in there. They're basically like dehydrated. You get some strange requests. This Easter, I had the one lady, she said, please go back and kiss it and hug it and hold it for me for about five minutes to let me know that, that I love it. So I did. <laughs> this dog's a boxer, the biggest one we've ever took in. And he weighed 108 pounds. And he's been in the machine for about four months. And uh, he'll probably be in there for another four weeks. Anything that comes through the store that is freeze dried starts at 725 for a minimum. And then from there, it just depends on the weight of your pets. That big dog, that big mountain dog, he's 90 pounds over the 10 pounds times $49. It's $4,410 just for the 90 pounds. And his eyes are open. So he was $5,235. That's a lot of money for a lot of people. There's a dog that's ready to go in the freeze dryer. So how come the dog's in a basketball shirt? That was his shirt, and his parents wanted him dressed in that shirt when he's freeze dried, so we always keep up with it. Is preserving your pet not slightly odd? No, I don't think it's odd. I really don't. In my opinion, I mean, I could compare it to, to gays. You know, used to, you know, being gay was a, was a horrible thing. You were ridiculed, you were outcast, and now, if you're gay, hey, you're cool. And so kind of the same thing with the pet preservation, you know, now that people know it's an option and uh, it's available. And so it's kind of, now it's, hey, that's kind of cool, you know, keep your pet around forever. Daniel's freeze drying pet service was so popular, pets were arriving each day by any way possible. Some people do ship their pets through the UPS and they ship them in Coleman coolers with frozen packs above and below them to keep them frozen. We usually get them generally every day. How you doing today? Good. Yeah. And do you think the, um, the delivery man knows what he's carrying? No. I wanted to meet the people paying so much money to preserve their pets. So I traveled across the state of Arkansas to meet a family in mourning for their pet Dalmatian named Precious. She just began to not eat you know, and v get very, very painfully thin and weak. And just and, lay around, yeah. Yeah, and lay around. And, and we knew pretty much that she was going to pass. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I mean, we had to prepare ourselves for her passing on. And then I thought, well, gosh, you know, if, if we could save up money, you know, and sort of get ready for something like that, I think that would be great. Yeah. We loved her. We miss right. her. And like Calvin said, you get a big attachment and it becomes yeah, one of the family. You know, I have my mother and my dad on the other side. You know, I feel like in a sense that, you know, maybe when I pass on, that she'll be there for me. It, it makes dying to me not seem so bad. She's gone, but she's still here. Yeah, we can look at her every day. Yeah. yeah. Precious, I know, but we're gonna, she's preserved, she's preserved and so right. we can bring her home. Wow. Yeah. We well, we just shelf. can. Yeah. 
Have a you want you want me to show you where we're gonna put her? I think we'll put her right down here because that's uh, that's where she laid. She yeah, just she used to lay down. Yeah. Sit down there and watch it. Mm -hmm. Most of the pets that we do, these people are mid. American, they're your wor average working class. Sometimes it's a strain and a struggle on them financially to be able to do it. And here's the thing, I've got a soft heart. I'll work with them, I'll set them up on payment plans, you know, pay me a little each month. You know, obviously we've saved up for it. Yeah. A few thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. and, and so where we would have maybe taken a vacation or something, we kind of said no and, and just kept putting money aside. After finessing the freeze-dried pets, Daniel had a unique way of revealing them to their grieving owners. I do like to cover up the pets before we show them to the customer. That way, when they first come in, you know, they're not, they're not uh, distracted by seeing them. And it's a good way to judge their first reaction. Well, she's right here behind us, and uh, I've got her covered up. Okay. Little precious. She was special, so. Yep. You're ready, here she is. Oh. She's so beautiful. Yes. She is. Look at her toenails. Yeah. She looks so healthy, doesn't she? It's so ex it's... I mean, she was a, my best friend. When you lose an animal, especially for me, because I'm still single, and um, when you don't have a family of your own and you've grown with somebody like that, it's difficult to lose them. It's like, it's like we have her back, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I think Precious looks precious again. Mm -hmm. You yeah. did such a great job, and we're yeah, so grateful did. to you. And you have preserved a memory for us. Yeah. And yeah. Are you Why? glad we did it, Calvin? Yes, uh-huh, yes. Mm -hmm. If I were you, and I might would put a couple of mothballs mm -hmm. just to keep any mice or anything like that away. Well, who's gonna carry her? You'll realize she's a whole lot lighter now. I'm just so proud of her. She's so pretty.